Hello and welcome back to the Beginners Workshop. Today I'm going to do uh, a little more of a security job and that's this glass behind me. I'm going to frost it. Um, I'm going to be using uh, a specialist spray which is a Rust-Oleum frosted glass spray. Um, it's got really good reviews so we're going to have to give this a go to see how good it is. Uh, I did previously have some really nasty um, net curtains which were ravaged by moth and they look terrible so I'm just going to frost it up for a couple of reasons really um, main one is the security just so no one can actually see what I've got inside my garage uh, and just from the outside looking in from the garden um, the frosted glass look looks quite good in my opinion uh, I did um and ah about um, getting like a, a mirrored film to put on it but I have got um, artificial grass in the garden and I've read that the reflection of the sun can lead to it burning or discolouring so I'm going to go for the frosted look um, for my purposes it's for my garage but you can use that this on a, a variety of other projects like uh, bathroom windows you can use it on mirrors with stencils just to make a, a fancy pattern on it um, so according to this uh, I need to give it a, a good shake up for a, at least a minute uh, so I'll start that now and I'll come back to you when I finish that. Okay, so shaking the can up now, uh, ready to go. But as for preparation of the area, uh, I've not done a great deal just because I am in the garage. Uh, I'd probably advise you to mask it off, but I'm not really too fussy if it goes on my frames. But if you're in like a bathroom, for example, you, you probably would want to get some masking tape on around. Um, I have used some white spirit just to clean the glass to make sure there's no grease or dirt on it. Now, uh, ventilation is going to get quite smelly and I, I can't imagine it being too good for you to inhale. So get some windows open uh, and get a mask on. Uh, maybe some eye protection as well. I've uh, got to open the garage door to get so, uh, some airflow in the garage. So as for the application, I'm just going to go a uh, big sweep side to side, overlapping about 50-50. Um, and then once I've got to the bottom, I'm just going to go one loop round the edges just to make sure I've, miss, I've not missed everything and that will be coat one. So I've waited the, the 20 minutes which it recommends in between coats. It's uh, touch dry now but it has dried. It's really strange with the the gaps in the middle. So I'm going to apply a second coat and hopefully um, it blends in and, and it disappears. So coat number two is now fully dry. It's getting a bit better and it still looks patchy. So I'm just going to go for a third and final coat and fingers crossed it, it comes out uh, how it's supposed to look. So I've put three coats on now. And as you can see behind me, it's it's really patchy. It's just like they've got spots here and there. Um, so I'm not happy with that. It's fine on the inside and it doesn't really bother me at all. But on the outside in the garden, it doesn't look the greatest. So I'm going to start again um, and try and learn from my mistakes. I think it was uh, the spread was too long. I think I need to do smaller um, bursts going up and down with that. So I've got this special tool just to scrape it off. Uh, I'm going to start again and have another go. Okay, so I've totally removed uh, all of the, the frosted spray now to start again. Uh, I've got a brand new tin of the Rust-Oleum. Um, so I'm going to have a, another go. I have done a bit more research online and the issues that I was having, to be fair, a lot of people have mentioned that's what they were having as well. So I'm going to try the different technique and see if that makes a, a difference. Um, I mean, I'm going to obviously making a mistake here in the first time. So by me making a mistake, it saves you not doing that as well. So I'll have a go with this new technique and see how it comes out.
So I've used three full coats now using the new technique. And as you can see, it's come out miles better than the previous one. So how I actually did this one, the first time I did the long continuous strokes across, which is a big no-no, please don't do that. I've learned the hard way. So the new technique was continuous, but short and fast, going across up and down in one section, then back down the other section. After two coats, I did slow it down. So it was a, the same technique, but slower, and it, it gave it a more even coverage. So I think that's definitely the way to go, is nice and slow, side to side, probably at this pace, 10 centimeters away in little sections at a time and make sure you're covering it all going along. So I'm going to give you a bit of a close up just so you can see. I'm not sure how it's coming out on camera behind me, um, but it, it is looking really good. So I'm just going to show you a bit of a close up. Hopefully this is coming out okay on camera. It has got dark now, um, but this is the, the frosted effect in full. It's not perfect, definitely not perfect, but for my garage, it's absolutely fine. Uh, I put a few pictures on now of what it looks like on the outside but on the inside it's, it's there's no way you see through through that from both sides you see you can just make out i've got my white garden wall um there's a few patchy patchy bits but i, I think i'll top them up but overall i'm really happy with it so just to summarize it's the rust-oleum frosted glass effect it's about 10 pound from amazon and overall it's worked out okay the video itself, it's probably worked out best for your side. You've actually seen how not to do it and then also how to do it in the end. And the finish is, is, is quite good actually. I'm quite pleased with it. Just a word of warning, really just to make sure you wear a mask because the stuff really does stink. It's stunk the garage out and I've used loads of ventilation in here. So have a definitely have a good mask when using it. So that's a, the end of today's video. If you've enjoyed it, I'd appreciate your subscribe. Hopefully you've learned something. I definitely have. Uh, and if you did enjoy the video, just give me a like. Thanks everyone for watching.